Hey, can we talk? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Hi there. We've met once before, right? This is Tipo. He won't hurt you. And this is Ellie, but you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. Um, both of you. Um, are you okay? Sure, just thrown for a loop. My name's Jude. Well, hey, Jude! Thanks for helping us out before. Thank you. So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where, someplace far away. Then the big man whooped them all. Oh yeah, that guy. But then he wandered away somewhere. Right, that's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers. Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy. He locked Ellie up. We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us the second we stepped outside! Those meanies! <sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Well, hey! Jude is our pal! Hmm. Mind if I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Right, Ellie? Thanks, Elise. You just wait right here. Oh, you want to come with? There you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it.
That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. Where'd you go after you left the shrine in Niakara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes. He cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow. Your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes. The clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. Ah. Oh. This must be the sensation humans know as hunger. Let's stop and eat something soon. Didn't we just eat? Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludus. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise. Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! <laughs> I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? Too 
Fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. So this is experience. Alright! 